Hello everyone, this is Luna. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for stopping by. And thank you for the people that uh, have subscribed. Thank you for the ones that, uh, you know, uh, have uh, watched my previous videos. Today, uh, I'm going to focus on a pick a card reading uh, that uh, talks about your hidden talents. I believe everyone has a talent. It could be your hobby. It could be something that you're thinking about it, but you have never tried before. It could be something that you are already uh, doing. Uh, but it's about the thing that makes you very happy or will make you very happy if you start doing it more and perhaps you can start doing it as a hobby perhaps you can do it as a career or you know whatever is the whatever it happened with this talent but the idea is you when you were born you were gifted with this talent and uh, you have to use it during this lifetime because if you use it, uh, not only you will be happy, but I'm sure you will make other people happy. So that's what is about this hidden talent, something that you are aware or half aware or potentially no aware at all. And um, uh, we will ask uh, Spirit to help you to, to, you know, to connect with those talents and uh, show it off. OK, so. I have three piles, um, you know, pile number one, uh, which is the red heart, pile number two, which is the jade, I know the name of this stone, the jade green, um, green uh, heart, and blue uh, for the third pile. The idea is, um, it is a heart because it's what you love. It is the heart because it's what you love. And, uh, and yes, we're going to discover that. I have a few other questions around each of the piles. Um, and if you want to know anything else about me, please, uh, you know, go down uh, below um, this, this video. <laughs> you will find information about me. If you want to book a personal reading, um, I'm just starting, but uh, very happy to help. Okay. Looking forward to hear from you. Please comment. Please suggest. Please tell me whatever you want to tell me. Hopefully all good things. We are here to help. And uh, yes, let's start then. Thank you. Hello, pile number one. This is your reading. If you have chosen the red heart, okay. What I feel about the red heart is that you are a very, very, um, in whatever you do, you're very intense. You're very passionate about it. You want to put 150% in what you do. Uh, you are someone that uh, never stops. Um, keep working like crazy, okay? Because you love, you love a lot of things. You are a person that really has a big heart and you sh you, you're a multitasker. You are a person that uh, is always working different things and um, you enjoy that multitasking. But uh, you have an special gift, okay? You have an special gift. So this passion, let's see where we need to put this passion. Uh, in order to keep your, um, let's say, you feeling the rewards of where you put your energy, because you put your energy in so many places, that let's find out where you need to put it the most, so you get more energized, and uh, in that way, you bring more, no, as I said, not only to you, but to others as well. So this is you, okay, this is what I feel from that stone, so... The first question is, what is your hidden um, talent? Oh my God, the speaker. Okay, so the first, uh, the first that I get is that, uh, well, you have an ability to communicate. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. I mean, with this car, what I'm getting is that you are uh, someone that, um, uh, well, love to, be, love to be in the spotlight. <laughs> That could be that you really enjoy for people looking at you when you're talking, okay? So that gives you a lot of, lot of energy. So you are, you could be, I, I have a picture of you, you know, in the school, you know, when uh, there is a show, uh, maybe now that we're in Christmas, you know, it's a show at the end of the, at the end of the, <laughs> of the year, and you would love to be in the spotlight there doing the final words in the, in the presentation or whatever. So right now, what I'm getting is that you have always uh, been eager to be in the spotlight. The spotlight could be millions of people in front of you, could be a small, a small amount of people in front of you, you don't care. 
but you want the people you want the people to look at you and listen to you okay so i get the feeling that you enjoy when people listen to your words and um I'm visualizing you perhaps uh, talking into your community. So maybe let's say in a group of people in front of someone, uh, I mean a group of people that share similar, similar, uh, similar things. Um, I totally see you motivating them, talking in front of them. Maybe I don't know, talking about the things that you already know right now. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I pick it up something around health, about moms, about supporting other moms, I also get something around supporting people uh, with, um, uh, you know, uh, problems like uh, dependency to substance or things like that. So I'm getting the feeling that you like to be there because you know that people listen, but also it gives you, uh, you know, a pleasure to see all the energy of these people, you know, connecting from the same goal. So definitely you have the ability to communicate, you have the ability to be in the spotlight. What I'm trying to, uh, you're already doing this, but what I'm trying to tell you is uh, do it more. And perhaps I start with something that you are, let's say, in a group or community because you know something about this. Again, it could be around moms, it could be, I mean, I'm very, very specific here, it, it won't resonate with everyone. But I'm seeing you in, a, in front of a small group, all these people sitting in chairs in front of you, looking at you, and you being very proud of yourself. Okay, so do that more often, start with the things that you know, and you will become great at this. Okay, so there we are, that is you. Okay, then the next two cards, uh, these are different oracles, guys, uh, I mean, I'm happy to put the names of the oracles uh, under if you are very curious about it, but this is um, Colette, Baron Raid, and someone else. Uh, she is amazing. I think uh, she always uh, find the right artist to do the cards. Okay, so I love her the art of her cards, and this is what you, what comes out of you when you are an a speaker. Okay, this is this cards for me is what comes out of you when you are an a speaker, and we have the gatherer, and the witness. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, the gatherer. Funny enough. No joke. Before I, I was shuffling the cards and this one uh, popped down into my feet. For me, the and I thought about this. The gather is the people that has the ability to m make people join them. So for me, a gatherer is someone that, that, um, that make people come together. This is resonate with what I was saying before about you helping others uh, or perhaps doing a chat about mom, doing a chat about health, doing a chat about, um, you know, people that has uh, dependency problems. You, are, you have the ability to gather people, to gather people together. Your voice makes people come to you, okay? And the witness is, um, the witness is, well, what I get from this is that you have, the wit you have witness. F two things. One is how people, you already know this, how people really uh, see I mean, you have witnessed the magic of your speaking, okay? You have witnessed uh, what people feel when you are talking, when you inspire them. You have witnessed that. You already know that by gathering people, by uh, talking to them, you have witnessed how that voice lights others how that voice is very important to share. I'm also getting some politicians here as well, some people that like to, I mean, I'm getting, um, it won't resonate with everyone, I'm getting this is uh, someone that is very community driven, you want to support the community, you want to make the community better. So I'm getting maybe you help also on, on politic groups, on po uh, groups about making decisions for the neighborhood, that kind of thing, okay? I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting that. So you have witnessed the power of wars, and you know that this is you, uh, you know, making things moving, okay? So well done. You have an important mission. I'm getting good spoons. Um, you know this. What I'm trying to say here is a spirit wants to know that you need to do it more often. And what is your talent need to come out as your real, potentially your real job, your real work, Okay? 
because I'm getting that you do this as a, as a side thing, as a side thing. You are a helper, 100%. Okay? So this is why it nice you when you talk. This is who you become if you do that more often. Okay? If you speak more, this is what you will become. Lazy. A woman that shares, reveals. <laughs> okay, look, I know about the goddess. I mean, they're all amazing. For me, this, what it's telling to me is that you will get wisdom. You will get, if you see her, you know, she, there, is, there is something that she does. Obviously, she's looking at that. She's kind of calling, you know, what, uh, something uh, uh, to her hands. You know, it's calling like, come on, come on. Manifest, 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 okay? So for me, the revelation, okay, what I'm getting is that when you do that more often, you will get a revelation, and the revelation will be that you can, these wars can become dragon. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of, you know, too high, but the idea is your wars can become a dragon, and a dragon is a life force. And a dragon is a passion, and a dragon is fire, and a dragon is your heart. That's the revelation that you get, okay? That's the revelation you get when you do that more often, okay? Beautiful, okay? And I'm getting, this is another card from another deck, okay? Beautiful deck from, um, sorry, forgot your name. Uh, it's a British guy. It's Kyle, okay, Kyle Gray, okay, and he's the keepers of the light. This is who uh, is helping you to get into that. So it could be someone that you know. It could be from angels. Who is helping you, or who do you need to call to make that uh, that uh, you know uh, hidden talent become not hidden anymore? Okay, and Mother Mary, okay, love your mother. <laughs> you need to get your mom's help, okay? Your mom knows about you. Your mom's really believing you, 150%, okay? So your mother, or your mother, or maybe, let's say someone is acting as, as your mother, whoever you consider your mother, you know, we have our mothers, and sometimes, you know, like myself, we live, I don't know, two miles, I mean, so far, so far away, I don't have her close, but it's very close, so your mother or someone that represents, that is close to you, that is a very good mother, okay, and you see who it is, but I'm getting more the feeling that it's your mother, it could be present, it could be in a spirit, it could be anything. She brings you love and peace. She brings you the trust. She trusts on you 150%. They say, let go, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So your mother is the one that, uh, because you are involved in those, the, uh, those community uh, support, I mean, you are helping others, you are gathering, you are witnessing how uh, help people. Obviously, you hear so many uh, stories that are very dramatic, so many uh, stories that are, you know, hard, I mean, it can break your heart, okay? So what what is this um, your mother or someone like your mother is doing for you? Is bringing the love and the peace and the, it help you to realize that obviously you have the gift it will be tough. It won't be easy always to say the tough words, okay? But peace is always the ultimate goal. Peace is always, you know, the thing that will break everyone free. I mean, it is about peace. It's about bringing peace and it's about bringing love, okay? So your mother truly trusts on you. She will help you to get there. She will re uh, give you the comfort when you feel like uh, totally exhausted and totally drained. And or someone that is like your mother, okay? Mother Mary is helping you, okay? Your mother. Also, you can, if you are Catholic, you can call the Virgin. Hmm? If you are Catholic, that could be another thing, you know. If you believe in, uh, you know, in the Virgin, in Mary Virgin, <laughs> sorry, Virgin Mary. Okay, then uh, this is uh, an advice from. Um, from your angels, 
okay? This is direct advice from your angels with regards of your talent, okay? Your hidden talent. Oh, wow, Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Yes, because what happened when you are in this, uh, you know, uh, in this role? You become the dragon. <laughs> you become this powerful dragon, okay? Your wars becomes this, this amazing, I mean, your wars become so powerful that you go really high, okay? And it may threaten others because you're very tough on what, on what you said, but you're very kind, so you will speak the truth, okay? And that could threaten others, but don't compromise, okay? Don't compromise. It is worth to get those that don't follow to fall down and leave and focus on the ones that you inspire Focus on the ones that you really, really, uh, you know, are, mm, you know, uh, um, helping them to overcome whatever is the trouble. And those are the ones that will reach others to tell similar stories and make others, you know, follow that advice. Okay, your advice. So I think you have the gift for communicating you will be running really high because everyone will listen. It, the, the crowd, the crowd could become bigger and bigger. You will be high. But you know what? There will be people that won't follow at some point. They won't trust. There will be people pushing your words uh, against your words hard. But always, always keep believing in yourself and believing in your message. Okay? And believing that you are amazing with words. Okay? So you will get high because of doing this. You will get to the next level. Look at how happy she is. Look at how, I mean, she's like a, she's like a total success. Sorry, I'm talking about she, but it could be he. Sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm always, you know, mixing gender around. Doesn't matter. You will be happy, okay? And the final three cards are uh, three tarot cards about how you integrate uh, your hidden talent, which in this case is not that hidden, how you integrate your talent with your reality, your work, and make it work. So what are the future potential uh, opportunities that you will have to integrate that into your, uh, more and more into yourself, your routine, your work, and everything, okay? So the first card that we have is Eight of Water, then the king of earth and the four of air. Okay, so what we have here is that uh, in order to integrate this, uh, or in order to integrate, maybe you need to relocate. I'm getting the idea that maybe you need to move into a different place. You need to move into uh, you know, uh, I get the feeling that maybe you need to travel and you need to do some kind of uh, maybe relocation or be in a different different uh, location, okay? But you, uh, in order to integrate maybe, or maybe this, this uh, kind of a speaker, um, you know, a talent will come out in a different land, in a different location than the, the one that you are at the moment. That's what I'm getting from some of you. From other people, what I'm getting is that you have to let go some things in order to become this speaker. I mean, say goodbye to that, you know, boat, okay? So you will need to let it go, but you will have all the, you know, the security, the financial security, you know, if you leave your job behind, for example, to come, to come, to uh, focus on this, uh, this uh, community work uh, or this, uh, yeah, it's community work, what I'm getting the most. Uh, you will be okay financially because also, yes, that's the main worry. The main worry is a financial worry, okay? So you are kind of thinking, you know, uh, for of air. For of air is kind of, uh, you know, some self-doubt about uh, some mental worries, but it's all mental, eh? I mean, this is not, nothing to do with um, the real possibilities, okay? You will become the skin of earth so i see you becoming the skin of earth and we're talking about the man but this is energy you will become the king of earth okay 
So the king of earth is the king of um, the king of uh, pentacles. Okay, so it's someone very very solid. Okay, so you have your small treasure. So you can do this as a full time. That's what I'm getting. Okay, perhaps you have to be in a different land. Okay, or in a different place. And you will become the skin of earth. You will have the security. And time to time, you know, you will have some worries. Did I do the right thing? Did I do the wrong thing? But I'm getting that you go for it. I'm getting that you're here on the clouds just because you are a very analytical person. Obviously, you are, I mean, to get here, you, you are not someone that is not prepared. Okay? You are, you are prepared. You have the knowledge to share. I mean, it's not someone that just talk because it's good at talking. Okay, the things that you are going to talk are things that really matter to you. And the four of air for me is that you have the solid foundation, you have the solid knowledge. Is the fact that you keep thinking and thinking because you are very, very much on your mental space. It could be that also you are, um, you know, um, with the travel and this. I'm getting that may maybe you are a um, air sign. Okay, I don't know why. But you know, air signs are very mental are very on the move all the time. That's what I'm getting, okay? But the beauty of this uh, potential future, uh, you know, outcome is that perhaps it comes when you are a little bit older. Let's, let's put it this way. Perhaps this, this, this as a full-time thing is when you are a little bit older. I'm getting that, okay? But guess what? You will have the riches to fully dedicate it and let go whatever you will have to let go. And you trust that you have the knowledge. Trust that you have the knowledge to do this. That's what I'm getting. Okay? You will be the king in your own castle. Meaning your voice is a wise voice. Because all this experience that you, are, you will have right now or you're having right now, it gives you first the confidence that you can gather people. Second, the confidence that you witness the power of your words. Third, the confidence that, it, that you can manifest that lion, sorry, that dragon fighting for what matters with the heart. You have the support of your mother with, for you is very important, okay? Your mother believes in you 100%. She brings you peace, she comes down. Then you will fly so high, you will become so important, perhaps even famous, okay? Sorry, guys, I have a problem with the, with the telephone. Uh, you will become this. You will go so high, okay? And uh, you will threat others, but you will keep doing that. And you get the riches. You get the riches. King of Earth, you are in a castle. You w don't have to worry. Okay? This is pile number one. This is the red heart. This is the passionate person that has a hidden or a not so hidden talent of amazing communication skills, okay? Thank you so much for joining. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Give me a comment, please, <laughs> if you can. Bye-bye. Hello. Uh, if you have chosen pile number two, this is um, your hidden talent. <laughs> okay. So what I pick it up from the green uh, beautiful heart is that um, I get a feeling that you're very calm, you're a calm person, you are someone that inspires a lot of tranquility and uh, people go for you when, uh, you know, they're stressed because you always, you know, smooth them, uh, you are very kind of, um, you have an amazing heart. You're a lovely person, you know, the kind of person that everyone will go because you kind of smooth them, okay? This is what I get from, from this heart. I also get that some of you are passionate about environment, about nature, about protecting our wall, okay? Perhaps that is your hidden talent. I don't know. Uh, as I said, I have five, five different, you know, car, uh, five different type of cars here. And uh, we will start, uh, you know, right now. But beautiful energy. The energy of someone that is very, very pe peaceful. Okay? Okay. So the first card is, what is your hidden talent? This will provide, provide us the clue 
and then the others will support and I will explain as we go, okay? So the first one, what is your hidden talent for pie number two? Body work, oh wow, you're an artist. It says, your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, therapy energy healing, physical therapy and ex or exercise training. Yes, that's what I'm getting about you. The people come to you because you ir irradiate uh, a lot of peace, okay? So you are very much uh, a healer naturally, you know, with your presence. With your presence, you, uh, you know, ignite uh, peace in people, okay? So I get here from this card, of course, we have to see what, what, is, the, what is the thing that you could be also... I mean, I'm getting a yoga teacher, okay? I'm getting Reiki, I'm getting, uh, you know, like uh, you have the ability to, uh, um, yes, I'm getting, I'm getting that your hidden talent is that you are very good at exercise, you're very good at meditating, and you are, um, you know, uh, also perhaps you're doing some kind of art, uh, you are an artist and then uh, you, you are creating those, uh, you know, paintings and everything that people see and people relax. So it could be with the body, so I'm getting two messages. It could be that your hidden talent is doing something with your passion, which is the yoga, the Reiki, everything that take care of the body. And the other thing is that you could be someone that uh, is, uh, you know, an artist, uh, you paint, uh, you decorate, uh, you do art and craft. And, you know, all those things can become, you know, something that uh, potentially in the future you can sell or you can offer to others, you know, to make them feel even more in peace, which is your, um, you know, y the gift that you were born with. You were born with the gift of making others feeling really, really chill, I have to say. Okay, oh, that's beautiful. I mean, I want to be your friend, I'm telling you. I will, f I already feel like so... I don't have any more of my pain on my back, <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay, so well done. This is your hidden talent. So perhaps you need to do that, something with that, okay? So the other two cards, I have two cards here from this deck, which is the um, is from Colette Baron Ray. It's called the, uh, sorry, it's called, I want to remember this, the Mystical Shaman Oracle, okay? And what I wanted to give with this too, because I like the, the pictures of this, is when you become this, okay, when you become your talent, your hidden talent, in this case, I'm seeing that you're not doing this right now. You're thinking about it, fantasizing about it, but you're not doing it. So when you are getting into this, what, what will come out uh, from inside you when you do exercise your hidden talent, okay? And the first one is the lower wall, okay? I like this picture. Look at this. This is beautiful. Eh? Look at how beautiful is that. It's like, uh, it reminds me of a place in Mexico uh, that is like uh, in Tulum, near Tulum, that you go inside the earth and, oh my God, it's like a different planet, beautiful planet, okay? So the lower wall is beautiful. Okay, and there is beautiful crystals there. And then the rainbow. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful is that. Okay. Look at how beautiful. You make people, okay, you make people really fly and shine and show their true colors. Okay, because obviously they will be more relaxed and you will become this. You will become a true healer. Okay. So what I'm getting from these two cards is that when you do your, um, let's say, when you follow your, um, your talent, uh, which is about being, uh, you know, a healer through the body, through art, uh, potentially, yes, uh, body could be Reiki, as I said, yoga, etc. You kind of, you kind of touch every, I mean, you, you have the ability to absorb but without, let's say, without uh, being drained, all the lower, all the bad energies from people. So essentially, you will become someone that take people from here to the sky, from the, <laughs> from the deepness of the pain, you know, to the high of the skies, you will heal the chakras. I mean, this is all these colors. You will have the ability to heal the chakra of everyone. 
So you will become a master of this. You will become a master of going into the to the lower emotions and the let's say the draining the the I mean the core. Because let's be realistic. When we are doing, uh, for example, when we are doing uh, yoga or when we see art, we kind of you know our pure uh, you know emotions come out. You know, it's about showing the pure emotions. So this pure emotion of people will be on the lower side and you will take them to the sky. You will, t you will make them very bright. You will make them feel free. You, you will feel free. I mean, doing this, you feel the same, okay? You will feel free. You will heal all your chakras. You will be this one bringing always, you know, amazing news. So you are the rainbow after the storm, okay? In every single experience or in every single piece of art that you give to this wall, okay, you touch people in a way that they come out from the, you know, the dark side or the, the side that make them very sad to the light side, to the side that make them really shine and, you know, unbalance, okay? So this is beautiful. Oh my God, you're so powerful. Okay. I mean, this is beautiful. You're very powerful, okay? Powerful in a very nice way, okay? So the healing storm, okay? Then my next card is uh, from the goddess, uh, the power oracle, sorry, power oracle, the goddess, goddess power oracle from Colette Barrain. I love Barrain because obviously it's like that artistic uh, designs that they have in her cars. So who you will become, okay? Who you will become um, once you embody this uh, hidden talent as, you know, uh, and you share that to the world. Oh, you will become Easter, who is in communion. Look at how beautiful is this car. I mean, you will become, I mean, this is very interesting because this is like, for me, it looks like someone that uh, obviously is um, very spiritual, okay? Very spiritual, very much in peace. Look at her face. She's relaxed, she's happy, she's centered, okay? So you will do, uh, you will, uh, I mean, you will become this goddess, the goddess of communion, the goddess that, you know, make everything being aligned, you know, and you shine. And next to this uh, rainbow, you know, it's like a beautiful, beautiful continuity of the story, no? So you will become someone that shines from the inside to the wall, okay? Shine to the wall. And definitely you will be, you are very gifted, uh, you know, with uh, your talent uh, to inspire others spiritually as well, okay? So it's through the body, it's through the art that you share your light, okay? This is beautiful, okay? And my next car is that to achieve this, which, you know, I think you are not there yet, but you are getting there 100% and you are aware of this, but it's just kind of you, you need, a, uh, you know, um, you need someone to knock on the door. This is potentially the, the reason to knock your door. So who in your environment is helping you? Okay. It could be in your environment. It could be from heaven. It could be from anywhere. Who is helping you to become this? Who is helping you to become this? And we have Isis. <gasps> magic manifesting okay so your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused so your hidden talent it is it is is going to be manifest i mean it will manifest and potentially there is someone uh, it, it could be a female uh, maybe someone that uh, i have the feeling could be a friend uh, someone kind of in your same circle, someone that could be, uh, you know, like, uh, I, I have the feeling it's, it's a friend that is already doing this, that is going to show you the path, okay? So uh, if you know one of your near friends, it will be a friend of a friend, something around your network that will help you to manifest this. So who is helping you is a woman, potentially, um, uh, that is on your network, uh, and uh, she have done it before. She's very good at what she does. She's kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, artistic already. Uh, she's doing a lot of, um, probably I'm getting a tattoo person, someone that does tattoos. I don't know why I'm getting that, that message that someone that does tattoo maybe works for someone. 
uh, that status, uh, you know, is going to help you, in, in, you know, in, in someone that is very artistic and uh, someone that is already doing what you dream to do, okay? So trust this person, okay? Uh, and definitely you're going to manifest this hobby into uh, potentially your work, potentially what you're going to do every day, which will really make you happy, okay? So perhaps I'm um, hit the feeling as well that you will, you will start gradually, okay? And uh, mm, more and more and more and more, uh, you know, you will become this, uh, you know, this healer, um, uh, you know, gradually, but it will be safe and uh, smooth because you are, you have that quality. You are not, let's say, someone that rush. You are someone, I get the feeling that you are someone that really go with the flow very well. So you will know when the flow is right, okay, to leave something behind and to get into this. But you will manifest this. This is beautiful car, beautiful car, okay. The next cards are, the first one is um, a guardian angel. I mean, who is, who is helping you? This is more like a real help in the real in the 3D world. This is who is helping you from above? What is the advice from the angels with regards of your uh, passion, okay? Your hidden talent. What is the advice from the angels? Janti, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. It's like I'm just starting to do these things and I find it so, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm the angel of peace. I bring a new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. This is totally you. Okay, this is an angel. It's called Chanti. Of course, called Chanti to help you to be you. Okay, but this is what you bring to the world. Look at the colors. They're all the same colors. Look, may maybe you need to work with your um, second, uh, second and the third chakra. I would say the second, the second, the second is the main one, no, that is orange. The second chakra is Archangel Ariel and also with Shanti, uh, Google, you know, who is Shanti, who is this angel, but look at the peace that you bring to the world, look at the peace, you're so peaceful, you're so much into this, I mean, you heal, I mean, you bring peace also to the animals, to everyone, okay, so everyone, everyone that is near you feel calmer and that's your gift. And I think by doing that, you will feel with more light, you will become, you know, you will share your light, which is the ultimate goal of everyone, you know. We are all beings of light and it's about sharing this light. So beautiful. So Shanti is helping you, okay. And the next three cards are, uh, and final cards, they are, they are the tarot cards and they are from uh, the good tarot. Sorry, I have so many decks today from uh, Colette Baron Reed. She will be happy. <laughs> okay. Uh, the three next are about how you integrate that um, hidden talent into uh -huh. your reality and what are the future potential energies that help you to, uh, you know, to manifest this uh, talent into work, into something that you do more regularly or let's say that uh, you become more aware of it. Okay. And the first card is... The hermit, okay, that's beautiful. The moon, beautiful and patient. Oh, wow. These are three major arcanas, eh? This is so powerful. Okay, this is very powerful. Okay. So what I'm getting is, uh, you need to go inside. Okay, that's the first thing that I'm getting. I'm getting the feeling, obviously, the hermit is someone that goes inside, you know, and this is a nine, this is a nine as well, okay, so for me, this is a very similar, similar uh, cards right now, so the idea is that you need to go inside, need to understand this power that you already have, need to understand that you are this beautiful, uh, you know, peaceful, uh, you know, angel on this planet, <laughs> okay, you need to understand that, you need to recognize that, and I see that some of you, this won't resonate with everyone, but I see that uh, you need to do a trip. And I get the feeling that because of all these uh, pictures, that you need maybe, I don't know, I'm saying this, but it, this will sound maybe only for a few people, but I'm thinking that you need to do a trip to India. Okay? I think you find your call in India or something related to India. Okay? And... Um, 
uh, it's like, oh, maybe you are that you have that background or, and you're trying to reconnect with your root. But I'm getting that, you know, there is something on that or there is something in Asia. It could be in India, it could be, I don't know, any, any kind of Asian, uh, you know, let's say, uh, place that is very spiritual, you know, we can say, I don't know, Vietnam, I, I, I mean, personally, I don't know. But the idea is that in that place, you go inside, you find your inner through, which is beautiful, you find your inner peace, okay, in this place, you find your inner peace, and you have enough patience and enough determination to make it manifest, okay? But you are very patient, you are very patient. I'm totally seeing that you will do this gradually, uh, and perhaps you will do it sideways as well, eh? Perhaps you will always have something else, and this, you know, this is your hobby slash, uh, you know, um, income maker, okay? You will make some income from this, and uh, but you have so much patience that will pay off so the energy here is the use the recommendation here you know for the future is that be patient do this inner work do this travel or do this travel inside it could be also even in meditation that you go to china <laughs> to, to china it could be china as well <laughs> i don't know why i say china china india i don't know any asia uh kind of thing pay attention to that you you go inside okay and you understand your gift deeply and you have the patience to make it happen. You have the patience to manifest this dream, you know, and this healing and this everything. Because patience is key also because you bring that peace, you know. And sometimes, you know, I'm imagine, no? Sometimes people try to get, you know, immediate, immediate, uh, let's say, uh, solution for the, uh, you know, the, the sadness or the, uh, you know, any, any kind of pain that they have, they try to get solutions so quickly, okay? And perhaps there is something that you need to learn about that inside you in order to become this goddess, this a a angel on earth, okay, that brings peace to the world with your healing, uh, healing talent, okay? So this is the reading for you. I hope it resonates, okay? Give me some comments. Uh, I would like to hear from you uh, and um, and bless you, you know. This is a beautiful uh, talent and, uh, you know, put it into action um, because you will be so happy when you do it, okay? Thank you so much. Till the next time. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number three. If you have chosen the blue heart, okay, uh, this heart is telling me that you're very wise, okay? It's telling me that you are, I mean, that your talent, I mean, your hidden talent, today we're going to talk about the hidden talent, that your hidden talent, you don't know about your hidden talent, I'm getting. You don't know about your hidden talent. It's like, it's a mystery, Okay? It's a mystery, it's a mystery, okay? And it's kind of, you You see sometimes things that, you know, make you think that this is, but then no, then yes, then no, then yes. So I, ha I get the feeling that um, you don't know yet, okay? That's beautiful, because let's find out. Let's find out what is your hidden talent, my dear blue heart, okay? So as I said, I have different cards, okay? Uh, like five different decks, and I will go through um, different questions as we go, uh, but I hope it resonates, uh, but this is the main thing, okay? The first card is, what is your hidden talent, okay? And the others are supportive and also, you know, give you more information about it. So, what is your hidden talent? Let's see. Flowers. Oh, wow. Working with flowers, open your heart and bring blessings to others through your life purpose. Oh, wow. This is what I'm getting, you know. I'm getting that you don't know that you have, you have this talent. I mean, you don't know that you have this talent, okay? So I'm getting like, I'm thinking in Marie Kondo. If you know Marie Kondo, Marie Kondo is, oh my God, is uh, the goddess of organization and skills. I'm seeing you as a decorator, I'm seeing you that you have the ability to make every environment to, to look pretty. 
So check on Marie Kondo because Marie Kondo is amazing, okay? She has millions of books. She has been very famous. Is someone that, you know, um, uh, I mean, you, feel, you see the, what the woman does and you cannot believe it. Anyway, that is the kind of person I'm seeing you are. You are someone that brings harmony to every environment. You kind of, you are the one that go into the house of a friends and, and see something, some mess, and we pick it up and we we'll put order on that, okay? I see someone that come to see your friends with one flower, okay? I see someone that appreciate beauty in the environment, okay? So your hidden talent, oh my God, you can create a business out of this. I can guarantee you that. I see a lot of power here, okay? You can create a business of that. It's about bringing beauty into environment, into the office, into the house, into the bedroom. I see your bedroom is amazing. I mean, I see a lot of light colors, you know, like everything matching. Maybe you, you also dress up all, all matching. But I see your environment needs to be pretty because you, you feel more comfortable. So that thing that you love about, you know, being in a nice place, in a nice restaurant, everything pretty, you know, flowers here, some candles, some smell, you know, nice smell. That that you love, is that, that is your hidden talent. You can do that for others as well. Okay, you can help others with that talent. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so this, uh, these two cards, you know, will tell you uh, about, uh, you know, what, what you will bring, what do you bring to the world, you know, when you, um, when you embrace your hidden talent, what you bring to the world when you embrace your talent. And the first one is we have a spiral. Look at how beautiful is this car. Oh my God. How organized, or, I mean, how perfectly balanced is that spiral, okay? So what I'm thinking is that you bring order, 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 okay? And the next one is the seer. Oh my God, you're a visionary, okay? Look at how beautiful, I mean, I'm telling, you know, this looks a perfect makeup, you know, for, for I mean, for the kind of, you know, it's an, it's an, it's a, it's an, in, I mean, no Indian, sorry, uh, it's a aborigine, no? An aborigine from the Amazonas, maybe, I don't know. Look, she has the wisdom of this lion, she has all these tools, you know, um, the feathers, I mean, the decoration of this person is perfect, okay? So that's how ornamental and how elegant you are and what you bring to the world, okay? You bring order, harmony, you know, something really, really, really pretty. I mean, this spiral is very pretty. And you bring the seer, which is someone that has the vision to make things uh, look better. And I mean, it's no, it's no coincidence, you know, that the feng shui, maybe you can do feng shui or something like that, the feng shui, has been very successful and has been implemented in the Western culture as well. It's because if you have an harmony in your place, harmony in the what in your environment, you become better. You become, let's say, more relaxed. You become more, let's say, productive. There is many, many reasons, you know, why, you know, you know, it's good to have an environment that, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, beautiful, you know, and also uh, inspiring. Okay, that's the word that I'm getting. So you are, you have the ability to pick up multiple tools. You are the seer. You see the beauty in everything that uh, is around you, okay? And you can manifest that and can bring that to the world, okay? You can bring this perfect balance order, okay? Uh, and, um, and you can bring this, uh, you know, these pretty uh, new, uh, new ideas and new things uh, because you see beyond. Meaning, like, for example, if you are seeing... Uh, just a candle, you see what the candle will bring, you know, it's, it's that kind of seer. If you get, jump into, uh, into a room, no, or into a building or whatever, in, even into a roll, and you see, okay, this is, um, you can see the unbalance straight away. So you can be that seer that see things to improve, okay? That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. Okay, beautiful. I mean, beautiful. I mean, you're so art. So so, such a good eye you have such an amazing eye for pretty you have an amazing eye for pretty and how pretty is that is that lady there it's very pretty okay then 
The next one is uh, a card from the Goddess uh, Power Oracle from Colette as well. And this is who you become when you, this is what you bring to the world. This is who you become, you know, when you embrace this talent. Okay. Oh my God, you became Aphrodite. <laughs> How beautiful is this? <laughs> okay. This is amazing. This is romantic love. She means romantic love, but I'm not going to pay attention exactly to the message. I'm going to pay attention what she becomes. She becomes love. Means that in this, in what surrounds you, you bring love and you become this amazing goddess, you know. I mean, let me tell you, everyone will want to work with you. Everyone will want to say like, uh, okay, can you please decorate this for me? Can you please um, uh, bring me some flowers? Uh, can you please do this? I mean, you have an amazing talent because not only you have the the eye, no, you have the eye, you have the organization, the skills, the order, the mentality, the, the brain power, let's put it that way. You also have love for this, you know, you see the love in everything. I, I'm sure you love, you love, uh, I mean, you walk and, and you see like a, a plant and you say to the plant, I love you, okay? That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from you. You, you, you love environment, you love everything that surrounds you and you have the ability to make it look better, you know, to get the beauty out of everything. So you will become this uh, goddess uh, of love, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, okay. And the next message is who is going in the 3D world, ideally? I mean, it could be from heaven as well, but the idea is that who around you is going to support you to become, you know, to become this uh, talented uh, person uh, to, sh to share this hidden talent to the world. Who is going to help you? Okay. Wow. And we have Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Look at how you have the power. Okay. So you will have, I mean, I, I'm getting that the, the, there, is, um, there is friends. I mean, I'm getting friends, potentially even, uh, you know, family members, maybe a sister, a brother, you know, someone around your family member that, you, that really, really uh, have seen your art, let's put it that way, have seen how magical you are with these things. And it will help you to... to um, to get that inner strength to make this become your um, your work. Because I'm telling you, if you do this, I get the feeling that you will be so successful. I'm getting the feeling that you will have your own business around this, okay? Sometimes our, our talents, you know, like we don't, we don't make it work like uh, at work, but I'm getting that, um, I get the feeling that you are starting to define what you want to do and, um, and uh, or maybe you are you know have done millions of things before and uh, you have to have a lot of uh, inner uh, confidence you know to do this and i'm getting that family members friends someone very close is going to help you to make it happen okay it's going to tell you every time that you doubt about yourself it will tell you that you are amazing that you are this fire this uh, you know this um, you have this passion it will remind you of your passion. It will tell you in your face that look at what you did there. Look at what you have done there. Look at what you have done for X, Y, Z. I don't know. They will tell you all the time. So you have a person that is uh, speaking to you every single time about how good you are. One person or several persons. Eh? Okay. It could be. Then the next message is uh, what your... Um, angels are telling you with regards of this talent uh, how they are supporting you and what is the help that you're receiving you know from uh, from your guides and your spirit and everything okay so carissa mm. so this is the person that is helping you right now you're in the end of your of a cycle in your life call upon your angel to comfort you and to guide you to your next step happiness await you now yes i'm getting I'm getting like, uh, you will doubt, you will have doubts because you say, okay, no, but it's just because I like this. I mean, it's not what I can do. It's just because I'm like it. I mean, this is what you're telling yourself. This is what your brain is telling yourself. Ah, uh, you just like it. This is something that, you know, like, da, da, but I'm not going to be good at. It's too competitive. I mean, it's like, um, 
uh, you have to have this degree, this other degree. I mean, this is all the thing that you're telling yourself. So this is an angel that is coming to tell you that no matter what, okay, things are going need to end, okay, to, you know, to get your happiness, okay? So you will need to compromise, I mean, meaning you will need to leave some things behind in order to get this uh, future, no? But uh, you have all the tools and you have this knowledge that uh, especially the love, you will become, you know, pure love on this, uh, that people will really like to get from you. People will really like to buy from you. People will automatically say, okay, uh, this is amazing and I will pay for it, you know? So don't doubt about yourself. There is something that needs to end before you get into this talent, uh, full-time dedicated to this talent. Uh, start, uh, you know, um, start building your portfolio. That's what I'm getting. Uh, start talking with people that, uh, the people that you have helped and uh, start building a small portfolio, okay? Create a website. This is what I'm getting. Sorry, it's a suggestion, you know, like I'm an entrepreneur as well. Get, um, get a website, show your work, the before and after, Follow Marie, Marie Kondo, trust me, and, um, and by doing that, you will feel the confidence. And listen to your friends, listen to your family, trust in your eyes, trust in your uh, organization and skills. You have the ability to do this. Uh, infinite potential, okay? And you are that beautiful, you know, beautiful, talented, um, you know, um, a environment balancer. <laughs> I mean, if that word exists, <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, no, don't doubt yourself. Okay, start, start, start somewhere. And the next three message is from the tarot is uh, also Colette. Sorry, Colette. I mean, Colette, happy Colette. She will be happy. Uh, is the good tarot and is the p potential. How, what do you need to do to integrate that hidden talent into your reality? How is going to happen? Is some kind of potential uh, future outlook? for uh, your talent okay and we have first the nine of water oh that's beautiful the high priestess and the queen of air oh my goodness me girl uh, girls or boys i mean doesn't matter sorry it's like i talk uh, every um, i mean doesn't gender we're all energy okay uh, oh my goodness me listen 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 the nine of water is the nine of cup for me it's wish fulfilled Wish fulfilled. Look at how happy she is. All the diamonds. I mean, all the pretty things that surround her. You know, like uh, everything is pretty aligned. She's, she's. I mean, she's as pretty as this one. You know, as pretty as this one. Look at how beautiful you are. Okay, it's because you bring beauty to the world. That's what you do. You bring beauty to the world. Okay, so you will manifest this. Your wish will be fulfilled. Okay. And the good news is that the more that you do it, I mean, you, I mean, you, I said at the beginning that you didn't know, okay? Sometimes you need to knock at the door. This is a knock at the door. The high priestess, the message from above, this reading, calling, I mean, popping up in your, um, in your telephone, whatever, right at the right time. Trust it. Trust. You are, you have the knowledge you know, for, because everything that we do in life, you know, or with this hidden talent, it's like it's in our blueprint, you know. You were born, you come, you do what is supposedly the environment is kind of gu guiding you to do, you know. You, you are born in, um, example, you are born uh, in, uh, in New York, poten potentially you have to be a financial person. I mean, in London, you have to be a financial person because everyone works in finance, I don't know. I mean, the environment move us towards something okay but what is telling you is that the the blueprint the talent that you have is something that is inside you you know this okay look at this two two you know that you are this and as i said 150 percent you know that okay you just need to kick off okay you kick off, you have your wish fulfilled, and you know what? <laughs> the queen of earth is the queen of coins. You will make so much money about it. I'm telling you, you will make money with this. You will make so much money. You will become the queen of earth, okay? And I felt powerful. You are in your early years of career, 
or potentially you are at the end of your career and you don't know what to do next. I have two, mes two kind of situations here, or very early or very late in the career. It doesn't matter because everything happened for a reason, okay? And I truly believe in that. So you will become this queen of earth. Look at the hair. Maybe you, maybe you have black hair. She had the same hair. How beautiful is that? <laughs> okay. So this one, we said, who you will potentially become, you will become this. And how we ended with this, which is the same girl, the same man, okay? Uh, powerful, beautiful, trusting the inner knowledge, not the environment, trusting the friends, trusting that sometimes you need to leave things behind, but it, it doesn't matter because happiness is there. But you have an amazing eye for perfection. This is a perfect spiral. And you have the tools and the eyes because everything is in the eyes for you. Look at this. You see pretty. You see, I mean, your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, your eyes. Everything that you see, I mean, you see the pretty patterns on things. You know that the universe is made of a lot of patterns, you know, everything connects, okay? Again, you go into a room and you see the patterns of things, okay? And you can move the patterns around to make it balanced, to make it look pretty, to make it look perfect. Like this pot of flowers. Okay, that is so beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Okay, please uh, let me know how it goes. Uh, keep tuned. I mean, comment, please. I want to know if it resonates. I want to know if you know the messages I'm sending are you know aligned or no. You know, that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to help you to become you. Okay, I want to help you to become you, and I hope that helps. And thank you so much for listening. Have an amazing day. Bless. Bye-bye.